Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to talk about the footer options. Now as we go into the front end, uh, here is uh, the footer and uh, as you can see it's split into uh, two parts, uh, actually three, uh, three rows better said, one, two and three and if you, we go into the back end into uh, general options Kalias options general options footer options now you can see here uh, we have the options here we can uh, completely uh, hide the um, the footer footer we can change the footer text which accepts uh, html so uh, you can uh, also add a hyperlink here we can um, control the uh, footers uh, widget widget positions for example we can have um, multiple multiple columns now uh, the footer is unlike the page builder it's uh, totally different it's uh, built with uh, uh, widgets and you can uh, have a different display for example you can have uh, four columns each uh, having uh, uh, being equal each having uh, three columns or um, for example this one uh, this row uses uh, uh, it's a, a block with uh, six columns and six columns here and um, you can control them uh, from here for example we can have a single uh, block two blocks three blocks or four blocks as you can see arranged differently for example you can play with the arrangement here also uh, for the second uh, second uh, row now this row right here it's uh, this is fixed I mean uh, you have only three options to change here the this image this text and the social icons <coughs> sorry and uh, of course you can change them uh, here as you can see the copyright uh, logo image now uh, you can also have a custom background but setting it default it will have this uh, uh, dark uh, color and if you want you can have an image and control its uh, its uh, settings you can uh, change the background color of course you can also change uh, the the border color splitting the second and the third row this one and you can also uh, uh, control uh, the social icons for example you can hide them by default they're uh, enabled and you can change their styles and you can add as many as you want for example I will clone this one and I will change it to say uh, pocket take this one play with its color and I don't know let's just call us on pocket and I'm going to save it As you can see, it's added. And oh, uh, one thing uh, I'd like to I'd like to add. Um, first of all, like I said, these are all widgets. Now you can control their positions here, and to actually change the positions. 
the sorry the contents of the widgets you have to go to uh, appearance and widgets here as you can see we have the uh, widgets positions the sidebars and the footer for example the footer row 1 widget 1 2 3 or footer row 2 widget 1 and widget 2 for example in footer row 1 widget 1 we have a menu a footer menu and uh, on uh, as you can see this is a widget I can select uh, custom menu uh, this uh, side by side menu is actually a custom one as you can see it's built in from um, uh, two columns one and two uh, then we have um, the second widget which is a MailChimp uh, newsletter you will have to uh, enter a MailChimp uh, APK which you can get of course from uh, MailChimp but um, you will uh, change these uh, MailChimp options into uh, the general options here we'll get there so no worries then we have the uh, the contact widget um, which is actually some custom HTML you can uh, add uh, whatever content you want so these are the the three this one as you can see it's a bit more uh, formatted it's uh, styled a bit different so that's why it's a, a custom uh, a custom uh, widget for uh, Kalia's team then we have the the second row with uh, the first widget which is a Twitter widget as you can see here uh, this will uh, display a feed of uh, of the of uh, your uh, Twitter account then uh, and you have to uh, first uh, read the documentation where it explains how to get these uh, these keys and uh, last but uh, not least uh, we have the second widget now as you can see here this is rubbish this is uh, an image that was um, uh, pixelated due to copyright uh, issues but it was uh, included in the whole uh, batch process this is the actual image but um, this is an image because um, uh, having all these buttons on high traffic uh, websites actually affects the performance so at least for our demo we didn't need it to uh, have it so we'll, we just placed an image but the functionality exists you can uh, you can uh, add it from uh, these uh, which is right here and this is this social buttons widget now I'm going to drag it as you can see I can add a, add a title we can show a Facebook Twitter Google Plus or Pinterest button as you can see here and uh, of course this is the needed uh, data for uh, I don't know for sharing for having a better uh, sharing button so and that's about it like I said the this is an image but the code is there in the back end we just uh, uh, had to increase the performance of our uh, demo so we simply added uh, an image so that's about it with it with the footer it's uh, it's easy in my opinion we uh, handle the options uh, quite good but of course as always if you have suggestions uh, recommendations or I don't know any uh, constructive uh, feedback we we really appreciate and uh, 
of course if you have problems don't forget to uh, subscribe to our uh, support forums and uh, you can uh, talk to our team uh, there so we'll see in the next video thanks thanks for watching